Africa is the fastest growing continent and has more than 60% of the world's arable land. It can help reduce the additional 50% food needed globally by 2050. However, currently, Africa produces only 13% of its own food needs, and it has half of the world's population facing food insecurity. Climate change is putting pressure on our food systems, leading to more droughts and floods and making pest infestations like fall armyworm worse. Fall armyworm threatens food security and livelihoods of over 300 million people in Africa. It attacks maize, a staple crop that over 3 million farmers produce in Zambia. Syngenta is helping farmers fight climate change and become more resilient to its impact. With our agronomic insights, technology and innovations, we are helping farmers protect their crops. Through our new Good Growth Plan, we are committing to help produce the necessary quantity and quality of food sustainably. In Africa, we are helping unlock the potential of agriculture to feed all and drive inclusive growth. Syngenta, bringing plant potential to life. Hello everybody, welcome to the program. I'm Pundu Mwape and I'm talking to you from Lusaka. And it is my pleasure holding this agriculture program, coming to you with the compliments of Syngenta Zambia, shaping Zambia's agro destiny. And this is Zaulimi time. Zambia is a regional hub for seed production in Africa. Seed produced in Zambia is exported to countries like Zimbabwe, Kenya, Mozambique, Malawi, Angola, DRC, and many other countries. However, seed production comes with its own challenges of the generated waste, as explained by Perry Ngoma. As the Zambia Seed Trade Association, we've been working together with uh, uh, Syngenta Seed Care, and we've been working on a number of initiatives. As a seed industry, we are uh, faced with a number of challenges, and I'll just uh, outline some of the challenges that we have. Uh, one of the first and uh, biggest challenges we had was uh, the disposal of our expired seed. You know, the seed is already treated, so uh, when it expired, it's considered as hazardous waste. So that posed a very big challenge and uh, seed care came in with a solution on how to dispose of this uh, waste. So they engaged consultants that worked with us and with these consultants we were able to uh, come up with a, a system of disposal so there are solutions that are on the table at the moment and uh, this has helped a lot of our members who are the seed companies uh, and in addition to that we also have uh, uh, the waste from the crop protection products and uh, mainly these are the containers where the seed treatment uh, chemicals come in. So once we use them they become hazardous waste and also uh, that was included on the program for waste management disposal. And this has uh, helped uh, in the past season it has helped a lot of our members and uh, it's one solution that we are developing to make it uh, a bit more complete. In the past Farmers and players in the seed industry and agriculture used to dispose of waste in different ways. Some of them used to burn or bury the waste as prescribed by the industry. However, Seed Care, with its partners, viewed that as being unsustainable in line with a good growth plan. Solutions of disposing of the waste in a sustainable way were developed. Let's look at the methods that they developed in 2018.
In 2018, Syngenta Seed Care, together with the Africa Middle East Sustainability Team, established an innovative initiative within the Zambian seed industry to enable compliance with local standards and adoption of global best practices around waste management. A simple and robust solution was needed for the wide variety of hazardous waste generated by the seed industry in an environment where poor waste management practices such as barring and burning are commonplace. At our production facility we generate quite a lot of waste in terms of uh, used bags, uh, in terms of uh, expired seeds, in terms of uh, empty chemical containers we, that we use for our seed treatment activities. And generally we've got also some other type of waste that, that we generate. And uh, yeah, we've not had a perfect way to dispose the waste until recently. So that has been quite a real challenge on our side. We never knew exactly what to do with it, but we had to keep it. And that also became a constraint because a lot of warehousing space was being taken and also difficult to manage it because we need to make sure that it's kept uh, safely and secure. Equally a big concern for companies because let's face it, companies like ourselves and others, when it comes to manufacturing and the processing of our products, we're world class. We, we lead the world in terms of how we manage all of that. A lot of the challenges we have is post-sale or post-distribution of our products, be it in Africa or other parts of the world. In 2018, the government of Zambia, through the Zambia Environmental Management Agency, enforced a new extended producer responsibility regulation that called for anyone whose activities generate waste to take responsibility and employ measures essential to minimize that waste through treatment, reclamation, reuse, recovery, or recycle. Those seeds are treated with chemicals. So you are looking at chemicals as part of the products that have been listed under the extended producer responsibility schedule, as well as the containers that are used to actually store those chemicals or to contain those particular chemicals. So the seed industry is required to register under the, the extended producer responsibility and under that registration they're expected to put in a strategy on how they're going to actually manage the waste that will be resulted from the, from the seed as well as the containers, the empty containers of the chemicals. How are they going to take care of it? It's at the moment where you know, we had started to make plans for Zambia and um, we saw opportunity to grow, but significantly. And of course, the more we will grow, the more the waste linked with our business will grow. And second, we tried to introduce to Zambia our global uh, PAS offer, um, Product Application Services. Uh, we were quite good with products, with recent registrations we got uh, in terms of application. We were quite present with uh, Wayne visiting all the sites regularly. And under the services, uh, we thought, okay, what do we put here? And then this waste management became as, hey, that would fit very nicely in there. Um, and lastly, um, I've been working in Africa now for four years and this waste management um, has been in my head for some time. Um, it's aligned with our values uh, in Syngenta, uh, sustainability, it's, it's a big push we have, good growth plan. So when you put the three together, the, the increasing need, um, the PAS, uh, the sustainability commitment we have um, to the world, um, it was you know, obvious we had to, to start this. The companies involved are well aware and they handle this very well, however we need to build upon the efforts being done now with the more global approach of this waste management in terms of the seed industry. Because the seed industry deals with the processes that handle chemicals, processes that handle packaging materials, processes that handle expired seeds and so forth. All these they are accumulating in huge quantities now. So we need a proper professional conduit that can actually help us to dispose of these materials that can contaminate our environment. Syngenta Seed Care is working with local consultants, Tandem, and with the Zambian seed industry to implement the Sustainable Waste Management Program in line with Zambian laws 
and global best practices. Tandem and Seedcare came together to bring the industry to collectively work towards a solution under the common umbrella of ZASTA, which is the Zambian Seed Trade Association. The solution itself involves uh, working closely and forming a partnership with a reliable company, that's Lafarge Geocycle, who's able to collect and dispose of hazardous waste through co-processing in their cement kiln. All waste is collected by a licensed and approved transporter contracted by Geocycle. Geocycle follows global best practice aligned with their network in over 50 countries and disposes hazardous waste through co-processing in Lafarge cement kilns. Over 180 cement plants worldwide follow this process of high temperature incineration where residual ash becomes cement and emissions are strictly monitored in line with international standards. The emissions coming from the burning of the waste from the kiln are consistently monitored from the central control room to ensure that we are not polluting our environment and the nearby neighborhoods and the nation as a whole. Since this project started, Geocycle has co-processed 2,816 tons of seed, 6,604 empty containers, 117.4 tons of expired chemicals, and 20 tons of seed bags. Going forward, the focus will be on developing value-adding solutions for the hazardous waste. So, for example, uh, developing a digital logistics platform that can track the movements of waste, uh, enabling recycling of plastics, things like the old containers in your bags, and uh, converting the seed into something valuable such as biofuels. We'll also be continuously working with Zema and Zasta to roll out the program across the country and look at other countries in the region that are having similar challenges to see how we can replicate there. With seed care customers, we'll aim to bring them up to a global best practice level and make sure that they're all following the uh, five golden rules. And overall, Tandem aims to continuously innovate in the space and work towards a more circular economy in developing regions. This innovative initiative is enabling the Zambian seed industry to responsibly manage their hazardous waste in line with local and global standards and contributing to the sustainability of this industry in Zambia. Seed Care is walking the talk and leading the way in stewardship in the Africa Middle East region. This example of partnering with industry for success is a great illustration of Syngenta's Good Growth Plan initiative. So this project is being spearheaded by Seedcare and we thank Seedcare for this wonderful initiative. From all the feedback we're getting, uh, the rest of the industry and indeed crop life, I've all acknowledged that Syngenta has been a big driver to pull this initiative together. Such disposal of waste were not good enough for seed care. They kept of looking and brainstorming the best solutions to get rid of the waste. Through their collaborations with Tandem, they looked for partners that were willing to take up this waste. A partnership was established between seed care and M&F Manufacturing. Mr. Rehas elaborates. Tandem consultants have been instrumental in putting together this partnership that uh, we are now heading into, which is a partnership between uh, M&F Packaging as a recycling and manufacturing company with uh, seed care and, uh, who um, have the responsibility of taking care of the, the waste that is being generated through you know, empty containers, which is where they store their products, pesticide, other chemicals, and then tandem consultants, the ones who have been instrumental in bringing all the whole process together. When we met, the idea was that uh, at this point of time, we have no reliable, no, um, uh, you know, I, I should say, no such process that confirms to all different standards that need to be adhered to. One, at one hand, the problem is that you have got these empty containers, you know, farmers use pesticides, herbicides and then other chemicals that get stored into these uh, containers. They get used on farms and a, a country needs them. But when the chemical inside gets used, what happens to the empty containers? It's not just any normal container like when you, you drink water from a bottle and you throw it away, uh, that's also a waste. But with this one, the problem is that it has got um, 
chemical contamination because of the chemicals that were stored inside so it's not as easy to throw it or to you know to reuse it or to recycle it because of those chemicals that makes it slightly unsafe on the other hand is the need for the industries for m and f packaging because we have a lot of products that constantly need supply of raw materials we have to look for uh, sources of waste plastics that we can recycle and use as raw materials so the idea was that on one hand there's a slight problem about the containers and other plastics that need to be disposed of and on, on the other hand m and f needs sources of plastics for their uh, factory as well so we got together and we thought about how we can process these plastics in a responsible manner in a safe manner which is safe to the environment in the way that they are handled the chemical residues are handled the plastic is ensured that the plastic that comes out of these dirty containers do not go into manufacturing of the products that can later be used for um, for for example for food or for water so that potentially even if after cleaning if some traces have remained for some reason then they would not uh, harm anyone uh, anyone's health or the chemicals that are released from the cleaning process they do not go back into the environment they do not go back into the groundwater they do not contaminate the soil they do not contaminate the, the vegetation around it by the virtue of contaminating the groundwater which is a very valuable resource for us in Zambia so when we got together this was the idea that we would come together and solve these problems of one hand plastics on one hand we need materials and we decided we have set up a process where uh, we are achieving reasonable level of cleaning of the these containers they are washed all the residues of chemicals which is inside of those containers are being cleaned and those containers are then being uh, cut up shredded into small pieces of plastics which are then melted then they are converted into these hardware products that i mentioned earlier items like uh, strainers or clip-ons that get used for fencing meaning they stay up there on fences items like air vents that stay on the walls items like conduit pipes that stay inside your walls that are used for putting cables so the use of the material resulting from recycling of, recycling of these containers is such that it poses no risk to human health it poses no risk to the surrounding environment M&F Manufacturing has been sourcing waste plastics from different sources. Seed Care Syngenta had challenges of accumulation of waste containers, which they were spending a lot of money to dispose of through incineration. This partnership has birthed the recycling of the containers in a sustainable way which is helping to clean the environment according to Syngenta's good growth plan. Our idea behind recycling is to produce goods that will take the plastic out of the environment and put them into a use where it's going to remain for a long time, not to produce disposable items. Uh, like for example, we take a lot of carrier bags for recycling, but what we produce out of it is this black plastic that gets used for construction. You know, when you're laying down a concrete, you a concrete slab you put this black plastic on the ground first so that's what we make out of the carrier bag wastage now the idea is that this product is something that's going to stay there for a long period of time so that's picking pollution plastics from the environment and converting into something that's not going to go back into the same uh, environment again easily or that quickly like our other ranges are conduit pipes or air vents from recycled materials these are products that once produced, the customer puts them into the, you know, when you're building a wall, you put these conduit pipes inside for laying cables. You put these air vents in your walls, right? They stay there as long as the house stays up. So the idea is the pollution that has been removed, the plastic that has been removed from the environment, remains out into useful products. Other than cleaning the environment, there are more benefits that are accruing to Zambia in this partnership. Firstly, without M&F manufacturing to recycle plastics, they would have been sourcing the raw materials from abroad. This meant they had to buy with Forex. 
Additionally, the recycling activities has created job opportunities to different people in the value chain. This, in no doubt, is contributing to growing the economy for Zambia, in addition to cleaning up the environment. Our production process through sales, everything remains within Zambia. The plastic that we collect, the people who are employed for collecting, delivering, transportation of plastics, the people who are employed at the factory, we employ close to 100 direct workers, which, you know, they run different machines. When they go to the sales channel, people who are drivers, salesmen, people who work at shops, people who are dealers, all of these are Zambian people. So the idea is that the entire value chain, from the scrap to a useful product, remains within Zambia. And these are the products that we need today to build Zambia, to, you know, to reduce our uh, reliance on importation of a lot of different pl uh, plastic materials, as well as products. The other thing is that, these uh, plastic materials, the raw material for this plastic comes from petroleum, which means Zambia has got no sources. All of this plastic that you see around today, except for recycling, that has to come from uh, through importation from South Africa, say, say uh, Dubai, say Malaysia, say other Eastern Asian countries. That means that we use valuable foreign exchange to import this raw material and we need them because our country, any, any, any economy depends a lot on these different type of plastics. By recycling, what we do is not only we help clean up the environment and reduce the pollution, but also it helps the economy in the sense that the raw material, we now no longer depend on the, that portion of raw material uh, to be imported. That ha is being now produced right here and we are using our waste to, you know, to convert it into a resource that otherwise would have to be, you know, to be procured from elsewhere. So that also reduces the burden on the economy of spending the valuable foreign exchange on the same uh, raw materials. Uh, so we believe that um, what we do here is equally important for the economy as well as the environment. To ensure the processes of recycling are in line with the norms of the industry, Seedcare has installed a heliosec for evaporation of water to minimize the amount of wastewater that needs to be taken for incineration. Seed Care is also working with seed companies to install Heliosec at their factory. M&F has the Heliosec installed already with compliments from Seed Care and Incotech. The products developed have no risk to the environment and the people. The use of the material resulting from recycling of, recycling of these containers is such that it poses no risk to human health, it poses no risk to the surrounding environment. That is how we, you know, we develop this project of recycling of these containers in partnership with Tentam and with Seedcare. Indeed, Seedcare is not only interested in the business opportunities in Zambia, they are committed to cleaning up the environment by taking care of the waste it generates in the business. They are also committed to grow the economy of Zambia together with the government by doing business in a sustainable way. Viewers, we would like to thank you so much for having watched our programs. This is the last episode, but we promise to come back soon with another 13 series episode to continue imparting knowledge according to our good growth plan. We will continue to ensure the seed industry in Zambia and the region grows by ensuring that we provide our PAS offer, P, product, A, application, and S, service. Thank you.